I'm Michael Cook. I'm CEO of Catalyst Worldwide. We're one of the leading digital development companies in the world uh, based here in, in Bucharest. Currently, right now, out of Bucharest, we're doing some of the most complex digital initiatives, development type of capabilities across augmented reality, which we talked about today. We have the leading augmented reality technology that it is a Romanian-based technology that was developed, and now we're spreading it throughout the world, dealing with these global brands. A prime example of that is one of our Fortune 50 clients, McDonald's. We're actually going to be working on taking this augmented reality experience, leveraging for the Ronald McDonald House charities to be able to give them an augmented reality experience based off of donations and be able to help that. Um, I think for us, we're continuing to grow. I mean, it's. it's Ultimately, what we're doing here is we're building the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe in Romania. And there's three key parts to that. Number one, it's about the talent. The development team that we're continuing to grow, we've got 53 resources currently and we're growing. I think the talent that we'll be able to foster here and develop has been phenomenal. And I think we're really gaining a lot of reputation, not only in the United States, as well as in Europe, but even here locally. We'll continue to grow and scale. And I think by the end of I'd say 2014, we're going to be continue to grow to be around 200 resources. But the key for us is this. When you have the world's leading brands that you work on, it's about finding the right type of people, bringing the right type of people. And Romania and the Romanian tech talent here is tremendous. It's the first geography that I've ever had in my life. Now, I've opened and built nine global development centers. The best technology and the best technologists that I've ever seen are based here in Romania. From a front end perspective, when it comes to design type of those capabilities, backed with back end development talent, the fusion here has been phenomenal. And I think that as we continue to grow with Catalyst, our global Fortune 50 companies are really getting the benefits of having best in class global technologists. And, and we're, we're very, very excited about what we've done, as well as what the future will hold down the road to continue to put Romania on the map as the leader in technology. Please describe us the technology that you have presented today. You work with 3D animation. What other things that you have? Yeah, I, I, we're doing a lot of, so now the augmented reality is key. I mean, it's, it's the leading technology in the space. That's about brand carry through interaction and be able to create a story for our clients. But that's only a small part of what we do. We're doing a tr tremendous amount of mobile development. So iOS, Android development, we build large global scalable websites, information systems, databases. So across the entire spectrum when it comes to technology, there's nothing that we can't do. What we look at technology is we want to make sure that we're technology agnostic. We solve business problems with technology, not just push and say, hey guys, here, here's, here's we, we've seven .NET developers, let's go build something in C Sharp. It's about, okay, so your, your, your company's siloed, we need an information database to where things are connected and where you can have a dashboard to be able to make decisions. So it's almost like a digital think tank or almost a consultancy to work technology comes and we do great development work, but it's really truly getting to the reason behind things and understanding the business applicability of what's going on. And that's really where we're key. And I think that's why we're having such success is that we're looking at things in a different way. It's not like a standard technology company. It's not like an advertising agency and it's not like a consultancy. It's almost like a fusion of all of those to where we can get the best of both worlds across the spectrum to be able to service these large global brands. I see it's working also on tablets and mobile phones. Uh, Please tell us some more features. What do you mention it as the best augmented or, or reality technology? Well, I think, I think to me, it, it's, it's about data in hand. So the, having the mobile component, being able to cross iOS, Android, multiple devices, you know, I think it's really, really key because today pe we live in an information society where people want information now. They want it now. They don't want to wait, they want it now. And where that comes is back to mobile and data in hand. So to be able to have technologies that come down to the mobile level are key, whether it's an augmented reality experience, whether you'd be able to pull out your phone and have that type of connection, whether it's a mobile application that be able to keep you engaged coming back, it has to be built with a global framework from, a, from an ideology perspective as well as from a mobile perspective. And that's really key. So those two fuse together, I think will continue to evolve. And as mobile technology goes, We'll be on the forefront of that. Make sure we're building applications that are scalable, that are global, but also can come down to the micro and, and mobile level. Also, in this technology, the content is the king part. Yeah. Are you going to develop local content here? Yeah, I mean, for me, content is absolutely key. 
And I think we're blessed to have such a strong team that not only has the technological edge, but can sit down with these companies and talk about the content that we're actually building to be able to drive that out, not only from an applicability in the United States, but also globally. How do you connect? How do you interact? Humans are interesting creatures because we all feel the same thing. It's about emotion. It's about the same things we feel can connect, whether you're Romanian, whether you're United States, it's about touching and feeling. And I think from a creative perspective with the team we have here in Bucharest, they can reach globally. It's not just having, hey, we can build out some type of ideology, some type of thing for, for Romanian talent. It's about globally being able to connect. So when we think through that, I think it's really, really key to build that and be able to carry and perpetuate that forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.